We are back here on Girl Talk. We are at Beaufort Memorial Hospital where we love to come and talk about health issues. Ansley Troxell has joined us. She is a physician's assistant and you are my favorite person to talk to. It's really <laughs> exciting. I am very much an advocate of physician's assistants. Well, thank and you. I know that you work for a vascular surgeon, so that just adds another dimension to what we're going to talk about. Let's talk quickly about the practice that you work with and what you actually do there. Sure. Um, my main role in the practice is to see patients mostly in the office, so whether it's post-ops, follow-up mm -hmm. visits, or new patients, I see those. I also see patients in the hospital, whether it's after surgery or if you just mm -hmm. happen to be admitted for a vascular reason. And then I help Dr. Tober in the operating room. Can I ask you about vascular surgery? I think mm -hmm. I have a preconceived no notion about what vascular medicine is, but I'd really like to hear more about it because frankly, sometimes I think of it as a guy's disease. Sure. Wrong answer though, right? No, it is. It's <laughs> common in both genders. Um, mm -hmm. You see it predominantly um, women come in with complaints of varicose veins just because okay. it's more cosmetically unappealing mm -hmm. and it's more prominent because you see it on the skin surface or closer to the skin surface. Whereas um, men also have varicose veins, mm -hmm. that, but they just don't come in for it as often. And then there's also arterial disease, which is common in both genders. What is a varicose vein? Can I ask you that? Sure. Um, it's a dilated, enlarged vein, usually tortuous, twisted, that you see in your legs. Is it uh, genetic? Is are you? Is it inherited? I've all, it's so funny when I think of varicose veins, I think of people who are on their feet all the time. It is, and it does run in families, so it's very common if your mother or grandmother or even grandparents had it that you'll end up getting the varicose veins as well. But you're also correct in that if you have a history of standing or sitting for a long period of time true? Okay. as part of your job, then you'll definitely be predisposed to it. Are there treatment options for that? Of course. Uh -huh. um, when, when you come in and <laughs> yes, see Yes, Debbie, yeah. of course there are. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Usually the first step is to relieve the extra pressure that's on your legs that's making these more engorged, enlarged, mm -hmm. and that's by um, elevating your legs at the end of the day when you're sitting or just when you're sitting in general or mm -hmm. even just walking helps to take that pressure off rather than standing or sitting in one position. One of the things that you and Dr. Tober are doing that I think is, is particularly exciting is that you are actually having a seminar at Sun City. Yes, what's the scoop on that and what's it going to be about? Because that's something I think a lot of us would like to uh, attend to get a little bit more knowledge about this. Sure. We are doing a leg pain seminar. Mm -hmm. so. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. um, concerns that patients have that are usually suspected to be related to your muscles or musculoskeletal concerns can also be attributed to varicose veins, vein problems in general, as well as arterial disease. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to divulge into a little bit more. When is that going to occur? That is November 2nd. Okay and it's at the Sun City Lake House. And can anyone attend or do I mm -hmm. need, okay. Everybody can attend. You just have to call and make a reservation beforehand. What's that number? It is 843-522-5585. Not that we had a cheat sheet for <laughs> no, that. It's all, all good. It's, it's all out of exactly. memory. Okay. But anybody can come for that. When you talk about um, artery disease, mm -hmm. what, what, what am I talking about? So artery disease is what we call more of a hidden diagnosis because it's not as visibly obvious as varicose veins or venous issues. And it's related to what Dr. Tobert calls um, uh, glorified plumbing. It's glorified plumbing. A buildup of plaque and mm -hmm. extra calcium, thing, thing, calcium yeah. uh -huh. deposits in your vein or in your arteries, excuse okay. me. So where in my body, actually we talked a little bit before because I was really curious about this, but you said carotid arteries. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of patients with buildup of plaque in their carotid arteries. So we call it carotid stenosis and that's where we keep an eye on you with ultrasounds and see if it's to a degree where it, Dr. Tober has to go in and clean the artery out itself. What is the danger of having a clogged artery, which sounds like a silly thing to even ask? Is well, that stroke? Is that what it I is? It is. When it's in your carotid arteries up here close to your, in your neck and close to your brain, of course, it puts you at an increased risk for stroke. Mm -hmm. If part of that plaque were to break off and go to your brain, that's where the stroke is. And what initiated. about in my legs? Because mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people who have. Um, what, what is it? P we call that peripheral artery peripheral disease. Artery disease okay, right. that's what I thought. It's I in your legs. Make. And what is that? What does that do? And that again is the buildup of plaque in your legs. And okay. As you know, gravity is pulling us down, so more yes, of it the, is. most of the plaque <laughs> is going into your legs. So going down against gravity, and that's where you see the buildup is mostly here in your iliacs, femorals, and on down into your legs. And what is the danger of having that buildup? And that buildup is decreasing the blood flow to your muscles. And so by building up more plaque in your arteries and your legs, you're going to start having 
um, increased discomfort when you're walking, so you're losing that blood supply to your legs to feed the muscles to help you move and exercise. When we go to this uh, seminar, are we going to kind of learn the basics, what to mm -hmm. expect, how to be proactive to feel better? What 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 is the goal? The goal is, as you just said, to learn the hidden symptoms, right. learn the symptoms as they may be from a vascular perspective and how we can prevent them, how we can treat them, and um, any of our available options that we can provide for Let you. Let me ask you a question about age. Mm -hmm. Do you, do I pay attention, I know at 63 I probably pay quite a bit of attention, but as we age, can this happen to anyone at any age? It can, um, especially if you have a family history of high cholesterol issues mm -hmm. or family history of arterial disease in general or venous disease in general. It's definitely better to be proactive and learn about it earlier than later. You have been amazing. Um, again, Ansley Troxell is here. She's a physician's assistant who I just think the world of. And we appreciate you joining us today on Girl Talk. We appreciate all of you joining us today on Girl Talk here at Beaufort Memorial Hospital. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye now. To make an appointment with physician assistant Ansley Troxell or Dr. Chad Tober, call Beaufort Memorial Surgical Specialist at 843-524-8171.